Hey guys, it's Randy with Lowbuck LS here again, and this week we are going to go over this uh, VCX Nano diagnostic tool from VX Diag. Um, it is a diagnostic tool. Actually, let me open it up here. Looks like that, and it plugs into your computer, and it allows you to uh, use like the Tech to Win. Um, software from from GM and unlike um, the video I did a couple months back where I showed you how to use like the legit tech to win where you go to the AC Delco TDS website and pay for a subscription and stuff this comes with software um, installed well we'll we'll install it but uh, it uh, basically hacks the system and uh, you get the tech to win software and stuff without having to pay for that subscription from AC Delco. But uh, I do have one fairly major concern with it that I will cover a bit later in the video. Um, but yeah, we'll go over how to install the software, how to connect it to your truck. Um, in this video, we'll go how to we'll go over how to use that tech to win uh, functionality of the software. I'm going to do a separate video that'll be the next video. That'll go over uh, how to use this for doing BCM programming through the SPS system. That you do need to pay for a subscription for. But uh, yeah, we'll go over what you can do with this and what you can't do with this. There is one, well, there's actually at least one thing that you can't do with this that you could do with like a GM MDI tool. So we'll go over that. So um, let me... Uh, fire up the laptop here we'll switch to the laptop view and I'll show you guys how to uh, install the software for this BCX Nano and then we'll uh, hook it up to my truck it's got a check engine light active right now so we'll use this tool to uh, diagnose that check engine light so let's switch to the laptop view now okay so I got my laptop open here and every time I uh, do this uh, installation of the VX uh, VCX Nano software it seems to have changed a little bit um, but one thing I wanted to point out before we get started installing the software and I mentioned in the intro that I had a fairly major concern with this software and that concern is that when you install this uh, GDS2 software that comes with the uh, VCX Nano it installs some kind of virus or malware or Trojan, I think it's called. I took a screenshot from uh, one of the times I've installed it earlier here. So if you try to install this software without turning off your antivirus, you'll get this warning here, uh, threat found. And it is this Trojan Win32, whatever that's called there and it is an alert level of severe and it says this program is dangerous and execute commands from an attacker so the way i interpret that is somebody from china or wherever could remote remotely uh, access my computer and do nasty things so um, unfortunately the software doesn't work without uh, bypassing this uh, virus protection so um, the way I get around that is basically I'll uh, install this software for the time that I need it and then when I'm done I use a good uh, uninstaller like this uh, Revo uninstaller and uninstall the software and then do a virus scan and malware scan and get rid of any viruses it may uh, may have left on there so um, so that's why I've had to reinstall this software several times now. Um, and every time it seems to change a little bit like the, I've got the CD that came with the software in my DVD drive. So let's just open that up and have a look. So this VX manager version 1.5.0, blah, 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 that, doesn't work anymore. There was a, a 
update in mid-August that uh, requires a new version of the VX Manager software and it required a firmware update to the, the actual VCX Nano. So what I've done in the past to get around this is go to the uh, internet and go to vxdiag.net and of course it's in half Chinese but if you go to download it'll take you to uh, this is the most current version version 1.8.1 .1, current as of September 22nd 2020 and today is October 4th 2020 but unfortunately, when you click on this and go to download it, it gave it a one here because it's the second time I've tried that today. And if you show in folder, it's only got six bytes of, uh, or six kilobytes of software in that zipped folder. And if you try to extract it, there's basically nothing in that folder. So this download link is no good but I've got the link from the last time I did this back a month or two ago. I saved the link and that one you can see has 62 megabytes of, of data in there. So, um, so let's go back to this uh, software CD that came with, and there's a certain order you need to do this as well. So. Um, the first thing you want to do, so we're going to install these first two programs off the CD and then we're going to install the VX Manager from this file that I downloaded about a month ago. And since this download link doesn't work as of the current date, October 4th, 2020 from the vxdiag.net, I'll put a link to this uh, zip folder here. I'll either put it up um, in the files on the Lobuck LS Facebook group or put it on the LobuckLS.com website. So we'll start by installing this GDS2 auto install. And before I do that, I'm just going to make sure I've got, yeah, my virus and threat protection is turned off. Otherwise it won't install correctly. So there is a little video that kind of steps you through the process, but I've done it several times. So we'll just click on this GDS2 auto install. And then you click on this start button and it takes a bit. So I'll probably fast forward or speed up the video for a bit here. Okay, and now we got this notification that we are done with this GDS2 install, so we can kick, click close. And we'll go back up to the main directory here and install this tech to win software. And part of the software for the MDI already got installed during the GDS2 install here. And I'll just explain a little bit the GDS2 software, that's for newer vehicles like in the trucks, I think it starts around 2014, 2015. It's basically a different diagnostic software that kind of superseded the, the tech to win software. So yeah, in the trucks, I think it starts in 2015. And in some of the vehicles like the Camaros and stuff, it starts around 2010. Um, but for my truck, it doesn't need that. But you still need to install this software in order to get the the licensing and stuff even for the tech to win so now we'll go down into the tech to win folder and then just click on this auto install exe and like i said it already installed the mdi part of the software in the previous step so we just click ok and some kind of various windows pop up here
Now we got a message saying our tech two in install is okay. And install complete down here. So we'll click, we'll click close. And like I said, we're, this version of the VX manager is outdated. So we're going to go into this one that I downloaded about a month or two ago in August or September of uh, 2020. I'm going to extract that folder. Uh, now you can see this version I've got is 1.8.0 and the latest one is 1.8.1 .1. but like I said currently as of early October 2020 this link doesn't work so I'll put a zip file of this version 1.8.0.0814 in the uh, files of the Lobach LS Facebook group and possibly on the website as well. Um, but once we've got that extracted, we just click on this to install it. You might get one of these uh, because it was downloaded from the internet. You just click on more info and go run anyway. And hit next. And while this is uh, installing here, I'll just talk about, I mentioned I talk about uh, some of the things this uh, VCX Nano can do and can't do. So, um, it works for um, tech to win um, like I'll show you in a few minutes here uh, on my truck for diagnosing the check engine light and it works for uh, BCM programming through the uh, SPS service which I'll show you guys in the next video we will program a BCM module um, but what it doesn't do is if you've got an actual GM MDI diagnostic tool and go through the AC Delco TDS. There's a data bus diagnostic tool and that does not work with the VCX Nano, I've tried it. And another thing that I've heard guys have trouble with is uh, there's a service for the older uh, GM vehicles, like my old, uh, my 2000 Lobach truck. Um, there's a service called TIS2Web, which is basically Similar, it's used for programming modules like the SPS service for the newer vehicles, but I've heard uh, a few commenters on some of my videos have said that doesn't work properly with the VCX Nano. So works for tech to win works for BCM programming through SPS, but doesn't work with the data bus diagnostic tool and may or may not work with that TIS2Web uh, module programming for older GM vehicles. So. Anyways, now it looks like this VX manager setup is complete. So we're gonna deselect. We don't wanna run it right now and we don't need to visit the website. And we'll click finish. And now I'm just gonna go over here and we'll actually plug the VCX Nano uh, module into the computer. And then we're gonna open up this VX Manager software. And that'll get it licensed to, uh, you can hear it beeping in the, in the background here. So if you have to, oh, it says there's a firmware upgrade. I'm hesitant to do this because uh, the last time I did the firmware upgrade, I also needed to upgrade the software. And since the latest um, download for the VX Manager software doesn't work, I think I'm just going to skip this upgrade. But 
If you wanted to upgrade the firmware, you just click that upgrade button. But anyways, if you go up to this tab here for diagnostic, oh yeah, that's our issue. This uh, GDS2 software is not active. So we click on that and then go install. You can see it installing there. Now we've got that green check mark here. All right, guys, so we are out in the truck. Got the laptop here. Got the VCX Nano plugged into the uh, OBD port um, underneath the dash, uh, underneath the steering wheel. We're gonna try troubleshoot why we've got this uh, check engine light on. So. All right, so just to review, to use this uh, VCX Nano, tech to win function you don't click on the quick start tech to win icon you click on the uh, one that's not the quick start you choose North American choose the GM MDI um, driver Choose the uh, interface that has the serial number of your BCX Nano. Hit OK. And once this screen comes up, you hit Enter. Hit Enter again to go to Diagnostics. My truck is a 2007, and it is a light duty truck. GMC truck. Uh, product line will be the fifth digit of your VIN. In my case, it's a K. And mine is a Sierra, not the Sierra Classic. And we'll go into powertrain and look at uh, the engine. So, engine uh, digit is the eighth digit of your VIN. In my case, it's a three for the LC9. We do not have a manual transfer case, and we're going to look at the engine control module, diagnostic codes, DTC display. Now it's going to uh, start communicating with the truck, getting those codes out of the engine control module. So now you can see it's pulled one code here. We can click on this view all DTCs. And it is a ECM diagnostic trouble code P0455, which is a EVAP system large leak detected. So some kind of uh, error with the uh, EVAP system, which is kind of uh, to do with the gas tank preventing odors and stuff from your uh, from your gas tank so I'm not going to look into fixing that today uh, basically just wanted to connect and see what the code was that was uh, causing my check engine light to be on and then we can go click here on uh, clear the DTCs we're going to clear the ECU DTC Yes, we really want to clear DTC information. And now you can see we have zero um, DTCs there. Uh, if you look at the dash, our check engine light has gone out. So that is how you use the VCX Nano with the uh, Tech 2 Win function for diagnosing uh, trouble codes on your uh, GM LS based vehicle.